Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to stretch audio with Shift. This is a new feature in Ableton Live 10 that I'm a big fan of, and I have to remind myself that it's actually there uh, so I can use it. So I have a drum thingy here. And I actually want that to be over there. So I'm going to find the beginning of this drum loop. And I'm going to set that over there. I'm going to find the end now. And that would be the end there. So basically, all I have to do is zoom in like that. I have to move this over to there. And I'll just press Shift. And then I can grab that and stretch it over. And then there you have it. You have a, you know, a, a, a drum loop that you stretched. And that's, you know, saves a couple steps. And then you can even double click it there and then make some uh, adjustments in here. You want to uh, go to the start point here, set one, one, boom. So the grid is a, you know, a bit more contextually, you know, where you want it. And that is kind of uh, mostly in time. And this works really well for, you know, non kind of rhythmic material. So say I have a tonal effect here. I want to unmute it. I can stretch it this way. I'll have it set to uh, complexity so I can make it work in the context of whatever I'm doing. So that uh, that works as well. I don't need to stretch it this way and then reference it in this thing. Constantly making the clip longer. I can do it this way. Or I can have it uh, a bit shorter, like so. And uh, stuff like that. So that's a quick Ableton tip uh, that you can do in Ableton Live 10. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.